Myberg and I'm here with Patricio Vasquez of El Porvenir de Cafayate. From Cafayate. So what's the El Porvenir mean? Well, El Porvenir uh, means what, what, what is about to come, means the future. So that's why we, we decided to put the name to the winery, because we are the future of Cafayate. We work close with, with the vineyards, with the earth, with the people to, 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 to show to the world the, the wines and the culture from Cafayate and what is coming from Cafayate. In, in this case, our, our wines, but uh, there are a lot of things nice in Cafayate. So tell me about the area. What, what makes it so special for you? Well, the, the, the area is completely different, uh, not only in, in, in the wine making or in the, in the vineyards, uh, it's, it's, complete, it's, it's a desert, it's a desert. You, you go, in, you stay in Cafayate and you see people from all over the world discovering the area due to it's a, it's a not common area, all over. It's, a, it's, a, it's a desert, you have like red mountains and uh, you have vineyards, you have an amazing place, a sightseeing area, so it's, a, it's a, an undiscovered area that people from all over the world are, are discovering now. And uh, regarding to, the, to the, the issue that we are here, to the wines, uh, we are 6,000 feet above sea level, uh, I told you it's a dessert, so very few rains, so you have to manage, it, or each winery has, has to manage to, to get their own water to, to, to regate the, the, the vineyards, um, and has unique flavors due to its uh, in, a, in a valley that has 2,000 hectares, so it's very small, we say, we always say that it's a, a boutique winery in a boutique terroir because not everybody has the possibility to, to have a, a vineyard over there. A lot of wineries from Argentina and from all over the world are looking actually to Cafayate or Cafayate. And uh, well, it is, it's, a, it's a valley surrounded by mountains at 6,000 6, feet with amazing characteristics for, for Torontes. It's, it's the best. Well, I'm glad you mentioned Torontes. Torontes. It's not a great variety. Uh, seen all over the world yet. So Not what can yet. you tell me about Torontes? What should one expect of a to good Torontes? When you say Torontes, it comes to my mind the uh, freshness. Freshness, uh, mineral notes. Uh, myself, uh, in, in, in sharing the Torontes with my friends in a pool, so it's, it helps you. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great wine. For, for, for some kind of foods, like some fish or some empanadas we have in Argentina, uh -huh. you, you try the empanadas, <laughs> or many typical foods from, from Argentina, but the, 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 the visit of the, of the variety is freshness, mineral notes, some peach, some uh, uh, herbal notes that, that make, it, make a unique wine that you cannot compare with, with, with another. The Sauvignon Blanc or something, you have to try it. Either. And Torontes, do you typically taste it before a meal? Is it more of an aperitif wine? It's also, you can have it when, when we are in the winery, we are receiving people, clients, consumers. We always start with Torontes, with the empanada, and then we, we, we move to the, to, the, to, the, to the reds. But also, it's, of course, uh, you can have a meal if, if you choose and you can match the meal with, with the, the, the whole meal with the Toronto. It's an amazing wine. I do. Okay, I do it. good. So uh, I need you to send me some empanadas. I, and you are, or if you want, I can, I can cook it for you. I have no problem. It's a deal. It's a deal. Thank you so much. Thank you, Deborah. It's a pleasure. Bye.